Okay, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a linear equation solver on your calculator. Uh, kind of a warning ahead of time, I actually use a slightly different version of the calculator. Uh, I use a TI Inspire CAS, and you are probably using a TI Inspire Numeric. Uh, so some of the menus are a little bit different, uh, but this particular functionality is exactly the same. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what to press, uh, and it's just going to look a little different on mine. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to press menu and then three. So this is exactly the same for you. It's menu three. On your calculator, it's option two. Uh, so you want to do menu three, two. I have to do menu three, seven, two, uh, which is kind of annoying for me. Uh, but you, it's just menu three and two, system of uh, linear equations. So I'm going to press enter, and this little thing will pop up. So you should be looking at this right now if you're following along. So number of equations, there's going to be two equations, and the unknowns are x and y. So those are my variables. Um, so I'm going to press OK, or I could just press Enter there. And then I'm actually just going to enter the equation as it was given to me. So 25y equals 8. And then I press Tab, and 12x minus 14y equals 15. And then what's going to happen here is this is the system and I put comma, well it puts it for me, comma and then x, y. So the answer that I get is going to look like this. It's going to be in these braces. It's going to be two numbers. And the first one's x and the second one is y. So I'm going to press enter. And that's it. And you'll notice that this gave me the exact value. Uh, it didn't give me these decimals, which is what solving by graphing would have given me. Um, so that's a huge advantage. Another advantage that you probably noticed is I did not need to solve for y. I could have solved for y. In fact, uh, let me try to do it again. So uh, for me, it's menu, uh, for you, it's menu three, two. You're gonna wanna probably memorize that. Uh, for me, it's this, so two. Uh, let's say that I did go through and solve for y. So let me do this uh, kind of on the fly here. So I have eight minus three x and then over 25. So that's the first equation solve for y. And then I have y equals, uh, so it'll be 15 and then minus 12 x over negative 15. Um, Nope, over negative 14. So that's the second equation. So I'm going to solve this, and I get 487 over 342 and 17 over 114. Same answer. So uh, it's it's actually a lot less work because you don't need to go through and solve for y. Uh, so this is one that you're going to want to definitely learn, uh, memorize, master using, because uh, it does give you the exact values. Um, it's You don't need to solve. Uh, a lot of advantages to this. Disadvantage to this is that you don't see the system uh, so you're, you can't really be sure that you are uh, getting the answer that you would expect to get. Like maybe you expect the answer to be in the first quadrant uh, based on the graphs you're looking at, but who would know because we're not even seeing it. But anyway, uh, this is definitely something that you need to uh, know and understand. So watch the video again if you need to, and then do all the practice problems. Uh, and good luck.